Hi, uh, my name is Maciej Kociołkowski. Uh, welcome, uh, welcome you from a South County Regional Park Pool. Uh, today I want to just uh, go over really quickly over the uh, emergency switch off of the, uh, our main uh, pool pumps. If this switch on purpose or accidentally gets hit, then it will stop our pumps. Okay, so we're actually going to do it. I don't know if you've heard the click, but uh, I standing here next to the pump rooms I have. So now pumps are not running. First of all, how are we going to notice that they are not running? Many times it's loud and you're not going to notice. Well, first first sign that you, you're going to notice it after a while, the, the pool is going to start overflow. And, uh, and that's the, the, the first sign. But, uh, but generally, so this is what you need to do if, if you caught that this happened, you know. So we're going to go into electrical room. this so-called shunt trip is marked by the X and you will see that it should be exactly in the position one and it's not it's like two-thirds into one so what we what we need to do we need to answer oh, we need to put it back to zero or off position and then put it back to one and that requires significant force it's a it's a high power breaker so uh, uh, and now we're gonna go outside and let's see Okay, very good. And I hear that the pumps are winding, winding up again. So that means that this, in this case, it did do the trick. Sometimes you might have to, if they don't go, you might have to go in a pump room and, uh, and uh, correct the issue on a uh, VFD, variable frequency drives itself. But uh, we're not going to go into that today. For for most of the most of the times, that should resolve the issue. So that's that's basically uh, what uh, was the purpose of this video. Okay.